Checklists are a great way to help your team keep track of tasks and required documents for a transaction. This video will show you how to add a checklist to a transaction. Go to the transaction and click Add Checklist from the left menu. Then, select the desired checklist template from the drop-down list. The selected checklist will be copied to the transaction and may be further modified if needed. Add more checklists by selecting them from the same drop-down list. Checklists can be collapsed and expanded by clicking the plus and minus icons. Rearranged by dragging them to a different position. And removed by hovering over the list and clicking X. Admins who have permission to manage checklists can perform more operations. For example, to change who will have access to view and receive reminders about a task, hover over the task and click the I. Select the appropriate visibility option and click Set Task Visibility to complete the process. To edit a task, hover over the task and click the pencil. Make the desired changes, then save. To remove a task from a transaction, click X. To edit the due date on a task, click the calendar, then decide whether you want the due date to be an absolute due date, like April 12th, or a relative due date, which is a due date that is relative to certain trigger activities. To set a relative due date, click Relative. Enter the appropriate values to build your rule, then click Set Date Rule. These date rules will be resolved into actual dates whenever the date for the defined trigger activity is present on the transaction. To add new tasks to a checklist, click Add Doc Name or Task. Type the task and save. To mark a task as completed, check the box on its left. This will also update the completion percentage of the transaction. Agents will typically notify an admin when a task has been completed so that the admin can return to the transaction to verify things and mark that the task is complete. To change the title of a checklist, hover over the checklist and click the pencil. Make the desired changes, then save. Remember that you'll have to first open an existing transactions page or create a new transaction before adding a checklist to it.